cool. This is a Colt Challenger made in 1952. Not a gunsmith, just a gun enthusiast sitting in northern Minnesota next to my wood stove looking to clean my guns. Uh, one thing I need to have you watch out for are sharp edges on this gun. I got blood in my thumb. We're trying to shove this back. And this cat caught it. So, and then there'll be sharp edges on different parts of the gun. So be careful. First, you make sure the gun's unloaded. Magazine's clear. Take the two side scales off of it with a common screwdriver. Use this, uh, well wait a minute, I'm getting ahead of myself. Before I, next step is, there's a button right here. I'm going to grab these two fingers, hold this button down, pull back. Hold that button down as I ease forward. Now look, it caught the mainspring. That's what that button does is holds that mainspring. Okay, pull it forward. Take that same screw you used to hold the scales on. Push that pin out. Right there. There it is. Lay on both sides. With a slide full forward in a safe direction, pull the trigger. Now listen, I'm going to pull, push this slide back about an eighth of an inch, you'll hear it click again. That's a good sign. Now I'm going to use my left index finger to push in and up approximately the same direction as the angle of the, the handle on the gun. At the same time, I'm going to take my right thumb and push the catch for the magazine out and away. There we go. There's a flat spring in here. It drops out. And the slide comes off. Your field stripped. In the slide, you gotta watch. There's a spring in here held by that catch. That catch is what you put into place. When you push down on that button, it catches that spring. So that spring doesn't go all the way back. And Well, it's just a mess. You got to get a screwdriver, push that spring all the way back in there, and push the button again. Raise the catch to hold it. It's just, just hope that you just keep it all in there. Okay, now what I'm going to attempt to do is put it back together. First off, notice there's two parts that dangle loose. Okay. So what we're going to do is slide those down. Well, actually, you don't need to worry about them. Slide them up out of the way for right now. Get that flat spring. This is the top. This is the bottom. The bottom has a little tabby on it. That little tab has to go into a hole in the handle right there. But before you can do that, this top has to go up here. Get those two danglies out of the way. There's a slot in the handle that you can push a spring all the way through, but you don't want to go through it. You want to go up one more notch. There's a notch above that hole. Put the top in that notch and the bottom tab has to go in that hole. Don't worry so much about this notch up here as much as making sure that tab gets in that little diamond shaped hole right there. Now take this little tab and t t tuck it in. The hammer gets tucked in. Oh, bump my, I bumped my uh, slide, my spring and it's popped out. You got to make sure that thing stays in place or you'll be in trouble. You may be blocking your light uh, if you want to go around my right shoulder there a little bit more so you get a little more light on the subject. Get the flat end of the slide and put it on the rails to get it slid into position like so. Okay. Now if you look in here, 
that hammer has got to go up as far as it can. Well, it stops there. But if you pull the slide back about an eighth of an inch, it can go further up. Like so. Maybe it's more of a half inch. The little one tabby's down. That hammer's up. Make sure that that spring tab is in that is in that uh, little diamond shaped hole. Get your main spring housing. Insert it carefully. That little bitty tab is going to go in here. That big hammer travels in here. So make sure they're separated. Make sure your spring's in that little hole there. And repeat the process where. This finger's pushing up this way, and your and your other hand pulls it into place, snaps into place. Sounds good. Get your pin, put your pin in. Okay. Pull back. First time is you're gonna feel a little. It's gonna feel like it's weird, but it'll pull back in. You're clean. There you go. Get your scales back on there. Both sides. Screw it back in. Provided you get your scales positioned right. There we go. And that's how you put it together again. It's going to take a great deal of practice. I think I've worked, what, four hours learning on a new gun, how to take it apart and put it back together with a bit, a little bit of blood. But you can do it. Take your time, a little patience. That's all.